What's up, boxing fans? This is the Rope of Dope Report. I am your host, Chris Carlson. You're going to see this shirt a lot, okay? It's LeBron and Garnett mixed together from a couple years ago. Get used to this shirt. I'm doing a bunch of videos today, okay? I got some stuff to catch up on, and I'm just going to bang them out today. Anyway, this is a prediction video for Timothy Bradley versus Carlos Abregu. Now, Abregu is 29 and 0 with uh, 23 KOs. He hasn't fought a lot of talented fighters on his way up. Um, he's shown that he has power, that's for sure, um, with the 23 KOs. You know, he can punch. Um, the, the fight with Richard Gutierrez showed me a lot of the positive things and, and, and the good things about him, and also some of the bad things, the weaknesses about him, all in that wrapped up in that fight. Now, he's a good technical fighter. He's got a good jab. He's got pretty good hand speed. I told you he can punch. He's got some pop. Um, and he loves to throw the right hand. Loves to throw the right hand. Now, um, usually technical fighters can defend. Um, he's got okay movement. And that's another thing. When I say technical fighter, he's got some of the fundamentals down, but I think his defense definitely needs to improve. And his movement, he can get off balance a little bit. He can move pretty well. And I think he can do that for parts of fights. But I don't know if he can sit there and outbox someone the whole time at a high level. level, Like a top level like Timothy Bradley. I'm not quite sure if he can outbox him the whole time. Um, either his positioning, foot positioning, uh, he gets a little off balance. Or he just likes the brawl too. Um, which comes into my the bad part, the weaknesses of him. Um, his chin. His chin has been a little suspect. He's gotten knocked down several times. Um, but he's gotten up and knocked those guys out. You know, So that's something to look forward to, of course. But uh, he's open to left, a left hand, a left hook all day long. I mean, you know, it, it's open. It's definitely open. Obviously, Timothy Bradley's coming off a big win over Lamont Peterson. God, it feels like a while since he's fought now. What was that, November or December? I think it was December. Um, yeah, December. So, Bradley showed a different layer to his game. He peeled off another layer to his game, um, and he boxed. He actually boxed in that fight. Um, he started out very well. The fight was pretty much on the inside, and Lamont was coming forward, which I thought was a mistake. Um, and he dropped him with a big right hand. He was landing right hands all day long in that fight. And then I think in the fourth and fifth round, they started banging out just on the inside. And, uh, you know, once Lamont got inside and got away from that right hand and the jab, he actually did some really good work and uh, was starting to hurt uh, Bradley a little bit to the body. So it wasn't working out for him. So Bradley showed another level, like I said, another layer, I should say, and started out boxing him and did a wonderful job at that. So this is an interesting fight. And I think that... These guys are the type of fighters that make fights interesting. They both like to brawl at times. Both of them have skill to box. So I see this being an interesting matchup. Now, I believe Abregu has a height advantage. Um, he's a 147-pounder, so Bradley's going to be coming up to 147. And, and Bradley's a big 140-pounder. He may not be the tallest guy, but he's big. He's a big, strong guy. That can punch. He's not going to knock you out with one punch all day. But he can punch. Um, this is an interesting fight. And I think a lot of people will pick um, Bradley. I'm going to pick Bradley. But I see early to mid rounds. Aubrey Goo giving some problems to uh, Bradley. I, I think there's a, a strong possibility that will happen. Um, I think just his style, his jab, and his movement, and his right hand. And... And I just think he's going to, you know, the size, whatever the case may be, I think he's going to give him some problems. Because, like I said, he is a good technical fighter. And no matter what, if Bradley comes at you, at times he gets wide with his shots and loose with his shots. Now, we've seen him improve. We've seen him jab more. We've seen some more out of his game. So it looks like he's improved. But we'll see. We'll see what kind of fight he wants to fight here. Um... But I'm going to go with the decision, and I'm going to go, and I wouldn't doubt if Abregu goes down. I wouldn't doubt if both of them go down in this fight because Kendall Holt showed that he, you know, his power knocked uh, Bradley down twice. <clears throat> but I am going to go with Bradley. I think he'll find a way to win. Um, 
If it's on the inside, I see that as an advantage. Um, I see him being a little more patient, but I do see him being the aggressor in this fight. But early to mid rounds, I see that there's, there might be some some kind of figuring each other out and making adjustments type thing. But I'm going to go with Timothy Bradley um, with a decision. Anyway, this has been the Rope and Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Chris Carlson, I just said that. I am your host, Chris Carlson. My own name I can't say right. Um, make sure you check out uh, Rope and Dope Radio. Peace.